off you, carefully. Pack your things and get out. I want you out of my house now. And you. I might be able to sort something out, smooth things over with the old bill. If you take the money, you're mine. Your mother is taking the blame for what happened. I've been fitted up for fuck's sake. Amen! I've been taken into care! It's a place for juvenile offenders. You've been placed here for your own safety. Now it's your turn, you filthy, dirty little whore. You stay away from my daughter. Danny Dixon needs me a fuck of a sight more than I need him. Oh, yeah. Yeah! Get off me! I have to stay in London. I have to be near Eamon. Right. Let's go, man! No, you fucking bastard! Leave her alone! Oh, don't worry. You're perfectly safe. I'm campus pinking. Morning. Come on in. I'm just a boy who likes to eat, drink, and be merry. <laughs> now. Look away for a minute, my darling. A little bit of pain never hurt anyone. I'm expecting a gentleman caller. Oh. But it's fine. You can just stay in your room. No running away. Fucking gun is fucking fucked. I'll do that then. Make it worse. The fucking thing is fucking fucked. I've got a world sensitive weapon, this, sir. Oh, look, filthy again. It will fucking clean it then. Okay. You're gonna pull your fucking socks up, all of you. Yourself to a drink, Mr. Middleton. Thank you, Deborah. You look lovely. After you. You was doing this. Now, I won't have that. Because 
breech block is forward, cock that back. Now insert the mag. Now that should be loaded and ready to fire. How come you know all this thing? This is no secret, Danny. Good. Because I don't like secrets. Now, you're on probation, you know that, don't you? Yes, sir, I don't. So, why have you been sniffing around my daughter behind my back? I haven't, Danny, I swear. Well, look at that, eh? Works. Now, you listen. Now, my daughter, she went to Rodine, all right? Not fucking shit outside. She went to Rodine at a Swiss finishing school. Now, you, you're a murderer. You're a thug. You're an animal. Useful qualities, I'll admit, in an enforcer. But not quite what I'm looking for in my future son in law. Do you grab my drift? Yes, sir. Good. Now, you stay away from my daughter. Clothes. What clothes? Outdoor clothes. The clothes I came here in. Oh, I had to throw them out. They were disgusting. I'll buy you some new clothes. What about Eamon? I need to get back. But you can't, Cathy. Not with Lily Law still looking for you. You really can't. He doesn't even know where I am. We've got a good thing going here, Richard. This stuff sells and sells. Massive earner. The beauty of the Dirty Squad is we're autonomous. DPP and Met solicitors only get to see what we want them to see. We're all team players here, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that's what I've heard, yeah. Hmm. He's here. Mr. Pasqualino. Ah, this is Richard Gates. He's the newest member of the Obscene Publication Squad. Where were you before? Bethnal Green. Well, you find we do things differently up west. <laughs> I have these, these... and these at the right price. Oh, of course. Well, I was hoping for a bit more. We have an extra mouth to feed. Dry your hands and come and see what I've got for you. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? You're gonna look like Julie Christie or something. And there's more. What's all this for? Someone I want you to meet. Who? The boyfriend. Stunning. He knows about me. Oh, don't worry, he can keep a secret. He's married. As far as his family's concerned, I don't even exist. I'm the mistress. Beautiful. Don't worry, you'll be safe with me, I promise. And now, for something no young lady should ever be without, a pair of sexy slingbacks. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Thank you, boys. Oh, keep <laughs> you touch, you have to buy. Too much for you, darling, judging by your apparel. Here we are. The peppermint club.
was this? Joey, this is the person I've been telling you about. This is Kathy. Kathy, this is Joey Pasqualino. May I join you? Of course. Isn't she beautiful? Very. Shallow thing. I've got to go and get ready. Drink your drink, enjoy yourself. Ciao for now. Desi seems to have taken you under his wing. Yeah. Look at me. I own this place. Desiree is the star attraction, which makes him very important to me. He gets very attached to people. You know what I mean? Yes. I'd hate to see him get hurt. I'll just tell Daddy that you wouldn't take no for an answer and that you raped me. Left alone with just a memory. Life seems dead and so unreal. All that's left is loneliness. There's nothing left to feel. You don't have She ran away from. Cathy, my colleagues in uniform are looking everywhere for you. Is he'll he... live. How the hell did you end up in a place like this? Excuse me. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, where's Cathy? 
She'll be all right. Oh, for goodness sakes, Jack, she can't be left on a run. Who the hell is she, Desiree? Where does she come from? It doesn't matter. She's been through a terrible time. How am I supposed to see you if she's in the flat? Oh, I don't know, Joey. Perhaps you'll have to convince me that you're not ashamed to be seen with me outside of my flat in this stinking club. So that's what this is about. You're just trying to provoke me. I went out on a limb for you, Cathy. Fuck knows why, but I did. So it's probably best for both of us if we keep shtum about our shared past and the shit that's happened of late. Agreed? Sweetheart. Detective Inspector Richard Gates. Uh, Joey invited me down to have a look around on the new boy in Soho, so I'm very glad I came. You met my niece, I see. Yes, it was, uh, it was a pleasure. Excuse me. Is everything all right? Yes. Get me out of here, Mr. Gates, please. I'd rather talk myself than stay backed up, I swear. Madge, look at me. Madge. I've moved from the East End, up west, in Vice Squad. I can still help you, but you have to stop all this crazy talk about being fitted out. A policeman come to see me. I told him what you did to me. I've told him everything. Yes, and he didn't believe you, Madge. I've spoken to him. He thought you were raving, and I can see why. I can get the charges down to manslaughter. You'll be out in two years, but you have to plead guilty. What the fuck should I? Because if you don't, I shall have to put Cathy in the witness box, and I'll get her to testify against you. Is that what you want? You want your daughter telling the world what a lousy fucking mother you are? Why are you so bothered about her? I'm the one banged up. Now do you need to pull yourself together, or you're going to get sectioned. Well, you lash you now, the next you're full of self-pity. You carry on like this and you'll end up in a padded cell, girl. You don't know me. No. Maybe not. I did know someone very like you. My mother was a whore, Madge. My mother. My dear old mum who ended up taking her own life. And towards the end, she was mad as a wet hen. Just like you. Fucking shit bags, you see, are clean. Of course they are. I'm sorry. This kid you've taken in. I've been making inquiries. Oh, Joey. She was living in Selby Street. There was a boy living there with her. Mm -hmm. Now he's running around with Danny Dixon. Dixon is the worst kind of news. Mm, I know. You can't just take in every way for stray that crosses your... She's not stray. I like having her here. You want something to look after? Get a dog. Fucking you cheap bastard. It seems to me that this girl could be involved in all kinds of shit. A bit like yourself, then.
Yeah? Amen. Who is it? Open the door. Hello, Eamon. Kathy. Are you glad I came back to you? Yes. Yes. I don't want to lose you again, Eamon. You won't. You won't know again. I promise. Oh, my God, amen. Who the hell is that? Cathy, please. Just talk to me, Cathy, please. Open the door. Cathy, please, just a word. It's not how you see it, I'm what telling you. What, is it your please. sister, Cathy? No, not my sister. Cathy, please, listen to me. You fuck! Your sister! Will you shut your fucking mouth a minute? Don't you dare Cassie, to me like that! What did I just you fucking say? Do not... Cathy. Cathy, please. Look, it's not how it looks. I'm going. No, don't, Kathy, please. Look, there's nothing between us. There never was. She means nothing to me. Excuse me? Will you just go? Will you leave us alone? I'm not going anywhere. I can't bear it. You sick pervert. I should have known better. I'm such a fool. Kathy, please, please don't go. I should never have promised. No, please, Kathy. Kathy, look, I don't want you to go. I don't care what you want! Get out! What do you call her, you fucking bitch? Did I tell you it was over? How'd you get in? Just tell my fucking kids. Took my fucking kids. Fucking kids. Yeah, give me back. <laughs> fucking now. Don't you man handle me, you caveman. Shut your mouth. I'm phoning daddy. I'm going to tell him that you raped me. Who the fucking...
So you're back. I'm sorry I left without telling you. I just love him so much. And was it everything you hoped it would be? So what now? I've nowhere else to go. Good. Dad. Who is she? Caroline Dixon. Bloody hell. Was oh, this her drum? No. Eamon Doherty's. You can't! No, 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 I'm asking on that! My little fucking baby! I'm sorry, Danny, I'm sorry! <laughs> I need your help, Dad. I'm in big trouble. Wake up, Cassie. Wake up. What is it? Read it. Read it! I told Joey you were there last night. Why did you tell him? Well, it's a good job you did, because the police think that Eamon Doherty is the reason why the girl is dead. So you were there. I take it the girl was still alive when you left? Yes. Have the police ever taken your fingerprints? Um... Think! I don't know. I don't think so. Dixon wants revenge. When he finds out you were there, he'll come looking for you. Stop it, Joey. There's no need to frighten her. No need to frighten her! The man has lost his daughter. He will want blood. Don't you understand? Joey. What did I tell you about taking her in? What did I tell you? Which flat are you looking for? I'm going to see Miss Desiree. The fuck you are. What are you doing? Going. Where? From such a risk to have around, from so in the way, such a problem for you both. Don't be stupid. Let go of me. You're behaving like a spoiled brat. What does that make you, my mother? Kathy, stop it. Please. Look, look, I'm not letting you go anywhere. It's not safe for you out there. You're staying here with me. Thank you for helping me, Dad. I wouldn't be thanking too quick. If they help us, there'll be a price to pay. There always is.
You're very lucky, young man, that your father and I go back a long way together. You're lucky that your father is held in high esteem. How old are you? I'm 18. 18 years old. Two children dead because of you. He was one of ours, did you know that? James Carter, good Irish Catholic family. You might well hang your head in shame. You're away tonight. You leave by boat at midnight. Where are we going? New York, the Paris you. I'll hear your confession now. Don't cry. You leave us alone. You should have known better. You're such a fool. Kathy, look, I don't want to know. I don't care what you want. Get out of my way. But if he does reach out to you, you turn your back. You have nothing more to do with him, ever. What, do you want me to show you the photographs of what he did? Because that can be arranged. No, I don't. If you hear it. I'm not going to hear from him. You let me know. Agreed? Let go of me! I'm sick of people telling me what to do. Well, that's the price you pay for getting involved with scum like him and Doherty. You think I don't know that? I ain't finished with you yet. It's your mum. She's not well. What do you mean? She's been moved from Holloway to Broadmoor. What's that? It's a hospital. She needed psychiatric treatment. I have to see her. You can't. She's a danger to you. She's a danger to herself. She's my mum. She's not in her right mind. I'll let you know when it's safe to go. Doherty. Yeah. Get in. Get you when PD's ready to see you. Till then, wait here. Keep your heads down.
Hello, stranger. You met Mr. Middleton on the stairs, then, I take it? He was in hospital for a week. His jaw is wired shut. Good. Not funny. I know you don't like me seeing my clients, but what's a girl to do? I've got to have some independence. It is for the peppermint. It's all yours. Well, you can do what you like with it. You can uh, sell it. You can uh, burn it down for the insurance, for all I care. I thought you would be pleased. You want your financial independence? There it is. And what do you want in return? You know what I want. I want you to stop seeing your clients. All right. And Kathy? That's your decision. Not if you let her come between us, it's not. So she's staying then. I hope so. I have something for you. Kathy Duke. I made you 18. Makes everything a bit easier. Now stand up to the closest scrutiny. Don't worry. You are now Eamon Quinn Jr. And senior. American citizens. Now you have a new identity. Use it any way you want. Thank you. Thank you. Keep your things. How do we work without our papers? You work for us. And you'll start at the bottom, just like the miserable piece of shit you are. The new beginnings. <laughs> Your last. I'm looking for my dad, Joey. Oh, you must be Tommy. Try the back office through there. Thank you. You're welcome, Dave. Can't come, what can't I come in? Hey? Hey? Why not every other fucker's come in anyway? Wanna have a good look at the old queers up there? What's your civilian trouble? Mr. Dixon's drunk. I might well be drunk, but I still wanna have a look at the queers. I'm sorry for your loss, but I want you to turn around and leave quiet. Yeah, I wanna have a look at the fucking queer! Hey. Get out, while you can still walk.
Hello, Cathy. He is a loudmouth, jumped-up little prick. He is ruining everything for everybody. Since his daughter's been killed, there is no reason in the Joey. The man is insane. This ends here! I'll go where I like, when I like. You stay away from the peppermint and you keep out of my square mile. Get that fucking queer out of here! Away from my family! Do you feel any remorse, Eamon, for any of the things that you've done? You should be here, not me. It should have been you locked up for all these years. That's what this is about. That fucking little girl. I can't get you out of my head. She's mine. She always has been, always will be. And if you're enjoying The Runaway, then why not check out our brand new series starting on Sky Atlantic HD on Monday at 9, Game of Thorns. Just imagine The Sopranos mixed with Middle Earth. And for more of Martina Cole's gritty and brilliant work, The Take starring Tom Hardy is now available on Sky Anytime Plus.